All right, this video is on suburbia survival food. Food that you would find common, common wild edibles that you would find in suburbia in the city or in the suburbs. Anyway, it's in everybody's yard. Easy to find once you know what you're looking for. We'll start out, hey, I am not an expert. So make absolutely sure, sure you consult with a local expert before you go eating anything. All right, purple dead nettle. Has a square stem. Has a square stem, so it's in the mint family. It is edible. Purple dead nettle. Very delicious. Anyway, this is the bitter cress seed pod. Bitter crest is very edible. Very, very edible. I love that bitter crest. All right, we've got wild onion. Wild onion. Everybody knows what wild onion is. We've got cat's ear, fake dandelion. You can eat that. Now we've got hen bit. Hen bit. Hen bit it looks just like purple dead nettle. Well, it doesn't look just like it. They're, they're quite different, but easy to get confused because of the flower. All right, let's go over here to this river birch. Well, let's look at that one. That is a river birch tree. Now on the end of the branches, the twigs, there will be a catkin, a catkin growing just a little little I can't explain what it looks like I can't get up there and show it to you but it's a catkin and it is edible plus you can eat chew on the end of the twigs the end of the branches here's another river birch over here you can also tap the tree and drink the water you can also eat the eat the inner bark all right, we've got wild lettuce. Wild lettuce right here. Yummy, yummy. Man, the bitter crest is everywhere. All right, let's move on. You might hear the neighbor's dog bark. I am on a job in Snellville, Georgia. And I uh, thought I'd do a video of this yard. I can't pass it up. It's loaded with wild edibles. Anyway, make sure you study the wild edibles in your area. Blue violet, blue violet, leaves and flowers, delicious. All right, prickly lettuce, prickly lettuce right here. Of course, there's another lettuce. I believe that might be blue lettuce, not real sure. Yeah, there's several different varieties. You need to cook up the lettuces because they have a medicinal value to them and it'll cook that out, wild geranium. Well, here's a cleaver, the cleavers. There's you a good look at the bitter crest leaf. All right, wild geranium is right here, wild geranium. Wild lettuce, honeysuckle coming up. All right, now we got tons of chickweed, just tons of chickweed here, tons of it. Very, very common. All right, now most evergreens, junipers, that sort of thing. You can chew on the ends of the leaves. Now, I wouldn't do any of the ornamental, ornamental uh, evergreens. I wouldn't touch them. Monkey grass. The root can be pulled up, dried out, and baked, broiled, cooked over a fire to get the medicinal properties out, and then you can eat it like food. These berries can be eaten raw. 
All of this stuff I have eaten. Every bit of it. You don't want to eat a ton of these because they're medicinal, but they make an excellent survival or famine food. All right, we got the magnolia tree. Massive magnolia tree. Leaves and flowers used like you would a bay leaf for flavoring of your survival food. For a flavoring. That's about it. I've hit just about everything. Anyway, hey, study it out and see. Study those wild edibles. This yard right here is so loaded with wild edibles, it's, it's just unreal. Anyway, we'll see you.